Hey everybody, this is Devin Domingo. I'm the Solutions Engineer here at BetterCloud. And what I wanted to talk to you about is Zero Touch IT and how to automate self-service requests using Fresh Service and BetterCloud. Um, so let's talk about a common problem that tends to come up where you as in your IT team are receiving probably plenty of tickets asking for app requests, roles and permissions requests, add to groups maybe upgrade a license type, maybe create a specific SaaS account. This is generally one of the most common flows you'll see as an employee is in their midlife cycle. Maybe there are things you missed as a part of the onboarding, whatever reason, now this employee requires access to something new um, while they're active. So typically when people request SaaS or request any of these apps or, or permissions within them, Typically what will happen is it will raise a ticket in your ticketing system. So in this case, we're talking about fresh service. Uh, somebody in your help desk team would then go forward and review that request. Um, maybe the manager goes and approves those requests for that particular employee. And then the help desk goes and provisions the access after they're getting manager approval. And then essentially the employee is in. So this is a very common flow. Um, and I think this is one of those things where IT teams actually waste a lot of time on it. They're getting interrupted. They're, they're losing time and focus away from strategic work. So this is something that probably comes up on the daily at least and can be automated away with something like Better Cloud, right? What happens now in the after scenario is upon a fresh service ticket being submitted, uh, what this does is fresh service has the capability um, to send a webhook out of their workflow automation suite. And you'll see a little bit of how we created this in the demo. Essentially, BetterCloud then receives this coming from Fresh Service, um, receives that web request, and then uh, basically orchestrates a workflow where we request manager approval, we provision the access to that application, and then we even send a confirmation email back to the original employee who needed access saying, hey, go check yourself out. Uh, now you have Zoom. I wanna show you how this was built. And uh, let's take a look into the better cloud and fresh service and exactly what we did to make this happen. So next we are looking at fresh service, um, specifically their ticket automator suite um, as a means of accomplishing this request. So first you pick a trigger. The trigger that I picked is service request is raised. Uh, you could also do something like requested item added. Um, they already have a lot of built-in service request types that you could use. So I use the default one called Zoom Pro for this particular example. Um, but essentially what you do is you then add in a condition where essentially, hey, if somebody raises a service request uh, for Zoom Pro, this is in the case where we're monitoring to see if the service request uh, ticket is originated, we'll need this condition effectively in case it accidentally triggers on some other scenario. Um, and in addition, you could start to branch other scenarios from here and create multiple web requests if you're getting more advanced with this. So we like this kind of structure. And essentially what you're gonna add is you're gonna add this web request action um, and forward. Um, this is a specific action that's not a part of their action library. This is a whole separate one, but you'll notice I'm doing a post to a spe specific better cloud endpoint. Um, I'm doing this with an inline credential with no auth and submitted a ticket body that looks like this, where I'm requesting the ticket ID, request your name, email, and the app request itself. Um, and what I want to do is I want to eventually basically test this web request. Um, again, this is basically a URL that you'll create in Better Cloud. Um, so I'll show you where you go in Better Cloud to create this endpoint. Okay, so now I am in Better Cloud's integration center. Um, I've already installed Fresh Service into Better Cloud, and for that, you just need username, password, or an API key. Um, but essentially, let me just go to my test install that I already have set up. Um, I'm going to head over to Modify. I'm going to head over to Extensions. And what you'll notice is I already created this extension. If you want to create one, you just go into Add Extension and click Create a Trigger for Workflows. What that will do is it will show a unique URL that you copy and paste into Fresh Service. Um, and essentially you send over a test request. That test request will then confirm that we have, that Better Cloud has received that URL and is ready to promote. Um, but let me show you the example, the one that I have created. So I've named it SAS app request. You could type in an optional description. Once I go over to my inbound request and basically have gone through that promotion process for the endpoint, again, this is really what you would copy and paste back into that fresh service web request and send the test request to and you would get to the screen after it's been sent. Um, and then basically what comes in is I've designated the app request as the name of this trigger. 
And then what you specify is what you would like to turn into an if condition. So that way you could start to figure out how you want to branch your midlife cycle management processes. This one is taking in the app request. So basically where that Zoom Pro license request is coming through. So I've made this the conditional to look forward to trigger workflows. Um, this is great because if you start to add other app requests, such as like Google Workspace or Dropbox or Box, whatever SaaS app have you, uh, you'll be, have a flexible way to create more workflows um, just based off having this configuration for the trigger alone. I've also turned everything into a dynamic field. What this does is later in my workflow, if I need to reference these fields and input the text someplace into like an email, I'll be able to do so and create dynamic messages and references back. I definitely need this for email and app requests, as you'll notice how I built this workflow later. All you do is click save and publish, and now all of a sudden your trigger is ready to be used in workflows. So what we have here is a sample workflow that I built using my new extended trigger for Fresh Service. So when you go into your uh, workflows, right, and you go over into Fresh Service, you'll notice now I made that SAS app request. It is now listed as a when statement here. So that became my when here. My if statement is that app request specific. So you'll notice it's SAS app dot request dot app request just to show you that it's paired to this one statement. And then essentially, this is where I start to orchestrate the, Zap, the uh, Zoom Pro license upgrade. So if you look at the properties here, the first thing I'm doing is I'm correlating the email that comes in from Fresh Service to an actual user in Better Cloud. So I click pick into my dynamic, dynamic field. And I use request for email for my find user by email action. Well, after that, what I'll then do is I'll use a wait for approval action. This is optional. I have it actually sending to myself here. But if you want requests to go to your manager, you'd be able to go into your Google user, your Office 365 user, your Okta user, basically wherever your reference is to your manager's email, go and put in that action. And that'll be a way so that way you send these approvals to the manager. You could create a dynamic subject using some fields based off either the ticket fields that came in or thing or referencing the user within Better Cloud. So my fields reference things like the first name, the last name, the person's email, and the subject and the body line um, basically of this message. And also you'll notice I could customize my approval button so that way managers know exactly what the call to action is. Um, now I go into my step three. This is one where I'm upgrading a Zoom license. So I'm, for example, want to target that, uh, that particular user email that I have in Zoom um, and switch them over to a license type versus basic. So now they will not be complaining about having 40 minute me meetings and now have it much longer. And then after that, I am just sending a confirmation email over to the user, letting them know, hey, you've got Zoom um, and sending them, for example, a test message. So. Uh, this will work well, maybe some enhancements. You may want to change this into a stop action in case you run out of licenses. You don't want to accidentally false positive them. Uh, but for the most part, this is really the recommended configuration. You would click save um, or publish in this case. Um, and at this point, you should be able to test this and validate that, you know, for example, you can now uh, upgrade with Zoom.